Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous spring day here in the end times. Got water in the creek, the birds singing, just another absolutely gorgeous day on planet Earth here in the end times. And I cannot think of a better way to destroy the mood on this beautiful day other than getting ready to go work for $12 an hour and moving junk around. But before I do, I want to uh, ruin this beautiful day by going on here to my favorite environmental newsletters to see how this planet has just uh, moved that much closer to that brick wall we're getting ready to hit. In the past seven days, this is my easiest day to be a doomsday prophet and an environmental alarmist. Although I'm getting kind of nervous. I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see the screen or not with this. Spring sunshine. So anyway, without further ado, we are going to start our ecological meltdown roundup. And oh boy, today is, I get my monthly, not my weekly, but my monthly newsletter from the World Wildlife Fund. But guys, this could be, this is one, one more reason to do these rants from the Bodai tree, because I can't see a damn thing. All right, what's on the minds of these, I've mentioned this one in earlier rants. Expedition to the Arctic. Little ice and few mother polar bears. <clears throat> World Wildlife Fund scientists spent two weeks in April on a research expedition to Arctic Norway to study polar bears and their habitat. Uh, unfortunately, there were not many polar bears to study because there wasn't much ice. I think I talked about this last week. Uh, then, of course, they have how you can go visit the Amazon jungle probably for about $10,000. Then from there, they have their cute little caption contest okay from there tell Barack Obama to end illegal fishing I didn't realize Barack Obama was illegally fishing but anyway okay Barack Obama would you please end illegal fishing of course remember we were reporting a couple of weeks ago how Barack Obama was stuffing bluefin tuna into his face over there in Japan, telling the world through his actions, through his consumer and lifestyle choices, how much he gives a shit about what's going on in the oceans with endangered species and overfishing and everything else as the leader of the free world stuffing one of the most endangered fish on the planet into his mouth as the cameras were rolling. All right, so I'm sure he is the man to save the planet from overfishing. Okay, from that joke, we have the World Wildlife Fund's suitcase for survival. Huh. Okay, just because it is safe, just because it is for sale does not mean it is legal. Check out the suitcase which is full of illegal wildlife parts and products seized by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. So how you can recognize objects in your own suitcase destroying 
the planet. Okay. Let's see, then they talk about more of their wildlife adventures you can go on by sending them thousands of dollars. All right, moving along from that mainstream environmental organization, let's get a little more fringe now, and we're going to head over to the Center for Biological Diversity. Let's see if I can manage to read their stories in this warm spring sunshine. Okay, I mentioned this one, how this wolf, wandering, wandering wolf, <coughs> may have finally found love. Good for that wandering wolf. I guess there's uh, hope, hope for yours truly of that wolf can find love after seven years of looking for a woman finally turned one up maybe there's hope for me yet all right this is their take on this uh, antarctic ice story antarctic ice sheet collapse now appears unstoppable sprawling clusters Sprawling clusters of glaciers in West Antarctica have begun an irreversible collapse that could cause sea levels to rise an additional four feet. Blah, blah, blah. I've mentioned this several times. These ice sheets contain 80%, 80% of Earth's fresh water. The grim new studies have found that ice losses are already underway as warmer ocean waters lap away the bottom of the ice shelf. There is no red button to stop this, this claim of this author of this report. The only question now is how fast it is going to go. There is nothing we can do to stop it. All we can do is chronicle it from Antarctica to California. And talking about, this is their article about these redwood burl poachers moving in to Redwood National Park, cutting off the roots of the, these root growths of these redwood trees to make all of these beautiful coffee tables and shit. Uh, anyway, climate assessment, a troubling future for wildlife lost in much of the media attention of the National Climate Assessment last week was what the climate crisis will mean for wildlife. So what does the report say verbatim? Many species may not be able to keep pace with climate change and the result will be altered ecosystems that bear little resemblance to those of today. Yep. For instance, this is just one, for instance, 47% of habitat for all trout species in the western U.S. could be gone by 2080. Spotted owls possibly going extinct, wolverines, getting ready to get it in the short and curlies blah 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 okay from there some good news at least until the at least until climate change makes them extinct last caribou in lower 48 stay protected all right an attack 
called Caribou Protection by the Anti-Environment Pacific Legal Foundation failed last week when the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced that mountain caribou, which exists in the U.S. only in northern Idaho and northeastern Washington, continue to need protection under the Endangered Species Act. So, I, it doesn't explain why these rednecks wanted to delist the Woodland caribou. Who, who could possibly have a problem with caribou? But I guess these rednecks, probably some rancher is my guess, is who was behind that. But as I mentioned earlier today, uh, good news for the caribou, but bad news for the grizzly bear. It does look like they will be removed from the endangered species list as wolves were. Okay. Let's see. I guess today is Endangered Species Day. Celebrate it by sending an e-card. There you go. Alright. As I say, I gotta move on, guys, because I have five storage sheds full of junk that I gotta go attend to on this beautiful day. Since I don't have any of my own junk to move around, I have to go move everybody else's junk from one storage shed to, a ne to the next. But before I get on it, Starting in about a half hour, let me jump over to mongabay.com. Let's see, let's start over there in Madagascar. There's, there's no better place to start a worldwide romp for a collapsing planet than Madagascar, the poster child on every front from for what is going wrong on this planet. Madagascar is without a doubt on the front lines in the fight for conservation. Not only are most of its forests already destroyed, but there is still much to lose in the little that remains. As Madagascar is listed as having the third highest primate di diversity in the world. Talking about the lemurs getting ready to prance off into obliver uh, to oblivion. Okay, from environmental conflicts in Madagascar Let's go over there to India. Simmering conflict. The delicate balancing act of protecting India's wilderness. Yep, it's just the same story in India as it is in Madagascar. Except I guess there's no lemurs in India. There's just all those other monkeys. Anyway, guys, I don't need to repeat the same story. Uh, Madagascar, India, Malaysia, Brazil, the, the whole goddamn continent of Africa, New Guinea, Canada, South Austin, Texas. Jesus. All right. Here's some good news. Leonard DiCaprio saving the planet by donating one million dollars toward ending the elephant poaching crisis. Good for you, Leonard. Saving those elephants. Okay. For anyone who does not understand this one. Loss of wildlife and deforestation can increase human disease. 
Deforestation is wiping out habitats for plants and animals around the world. It, and it is also linked to reductions in air and water quality, hastening climate change, and is contributing to increased rates of drought and fire. Hmm. Now, for the first time, researchers have found that deforestation may also lead to a heightened risk of human diseases. So add that to the list. <laughs> You know, guys, why do, why do I even bother? Uh, you know, I, I was in a fairly good mood uh, 15 minutes ago on this beautiful day. Okay, let's go over there to China. This is this is their take on the Filipino Chinese resources war in the South China Sea. This is Manga Bay's spin on it. Chinese poachers caught with 555 marine turtles, most of them dead. 11 Chinese fishermen were caught by Filipino police with 555 sea turtles, 378 of them already dead on arrival. They released the other 177, but the incident has sparked an, the latest, I should say, international standoff between the Philippines and China as the Chinese nationalists were arrested in the South China Sea as the sea turtle wars ramp up in the South China Sea. And then they go from there to their story on the unstoppable uh, Antarctic ice melt from the South China Sea to the South Pole. Tipping point already reached West Antarctica in slow motion, unstoppable melt. 200 years from now, this planet could look very different. Do you think so? Uh, yep, yep, yep. I think we've been through this story enough times. From Antarctica, let's see where to go. Next, uh, talking about what is the latest endangered species of the week we can kiss goodbye. This is the monk seal. I guess all species. The Caribbean monk seal, the Hawaiian monk seal, and the Mediterranean monk seal all over the planet. You can kiss monk seals goodbye. Okay, from dead monk seals to Indonesia. According to NASA, 1997 all over again for Indonesia. And talking about El Nino getting ready to wreak havoc across Indonesia and probably everywhere else. I was also reading a story in Peru this week talking about how Peru is bracing for El Nino everywhere from Indonesia to Peru as climate change stirs up it looks like a particularly nasty El Nino this year. And I'm not even going to talk about greener palm oil. 
I'm not, I'm not even going to insult my intelligence or yours with this latest unadulterated horseshit on sustainable palm oil. Well, I, I wish Manga Bay would pull their head out of their ass. Okay. Uh, I, I've never heard of this comedian, John Oliver. Never heard of the guy, but I guess comedian John Oliver skewers media balance on climate science. Yeah, how the mainstream media uh, acting like there is still some debate whether climate change is real. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here is, let's go over there, back to China, some factory in China. Chinese luxury furniture linked to murder and near extinction. Okay, for anyone who does not understand how to draw the dots between uh, lives of the rich and famous and the death of a planet. Intricately carved, meticulously designed, and costing hundreds of thousands of dollars this Chinese luxury furniture is reflecting the elite styles, blah, blah, blah. But while the red colored furniture may be aesthetically beautiful, it comes with a blood price. Yes, it does. As, as, as most things do, come with a blood price. But as long as we're over there in China, they just want the world to know that India, not China, has the world's worst air pollution. I've talked about this, how 13 of the world's most polluted cities in India here is their story, several people covering this one. From China to Iowa, Iowa, after 89 year absence, the first wolf returns to Iowa and is shot dead. Okay, what have we got? We got two more here. Environmentalist lament light sentence in peatland destruction case. Environmental groups blasted a lenient sentence imposed on the director of a palm oil company that illegally destroyed an area of endangered peat forest in Indonesia. No shit, Sherlock. And while we're on the subject of, of palm oil, the last story to wrap up this rant. What is Barack Obama, that bluefin tuna quaffing, uh, save the planet president, Barack Obama, palm oil destroying Malaysia's rainforest. President Barack Obama, elevated the uh, the issue of destruction of rainforest for palm oil production during his brief visit to Malaysia. So once he finished stuffing that bluefin tuna into his planet-saving face, my guess is on that Asian trip I'm going to guess in virtually every single meal that Barack Obama ate on his Asian tour included palm oil. I, I would bet dollars to palm oil soaked donuts that you could take that one to the bank. That uh, Barack Obama, whether he knew it or not, 
had palm oil on his breath along with that uh, bluefin tuna, which probably had palm oil in it. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if that bluefin tuna wasn't smeared with palm oil. But anywho, guys, I'm going to wrap up uh, this depressing romp around the planet, wrap up this ecological meltdown roundup for this week of this gorgeous May 16th, 2014, here on the planet. And as I sit here and look at the little fish swimming around, where they, they, there has been no water in this creek. I guess they washed in from upstream somewhere. It is just another gorgeous day on this planet, and I am going to go spend it moving junk around for $12 an hour. Bye, guys. If I don't fall on my ass on these wet, slippery rocks,